Hello again. Fancy another story? Tonight we've got Where the Wild Things Are. And this is an old favourite. You can tell by the state of the book. Our children really enjoyed it. I hope you will too. Where the Wild Things Are. The story and pictures are by Morris Sendak. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief. Oh, look what he's doing. Of one kind and another. Now he's chasing after the dog. His mother called him Wild Thing. And Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. He's in his room. It's night time. Can you see the light? That night, in Max's room, a forest grew. And grew. and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became a world all around. Look at the flowers. You can see the moon. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through night and day. And in and out of weeks, and almost over a year, to where the wild things are. Can you see where the wild things are? And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars. Rawr! And gnashed their terrible teeth. <laughs> And roll their terrible eyes and show their terrible claws. Till Max said, Be still! And tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. They've stopped roaring now, haven't they? And made him king of all the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Look at this one. See his tail. This one is all stripy. This one has got big feet. feet. He's got lovely red hair, don't you think? And he looks a bit like a chicken. There with the claws. Oh, his big big toenails. smiling, aren't they? Having a great time. Now stop, 
Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Shh, he's sleeping. And Max looks sad, doesn't he? Then all around, from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, No. The wild things roared their terrible roars. Rawr! And gnashed their terrible teeth. <laughs> and rolled their terrible eyes. And showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. Have you ever had an adventure like that from your bedroom? Maybe you'll have one tonight. Bye-bye.